There are four essential qualities of God we need to know. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 2, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was overing over the face of the waters. Four essential qualities of God are God is self-sustaining, God is self-sufficient, God is self-satisfied, God is self-significant. The word self is an affix, which means it can be a prefix, a word placed before a word. It can be used to form different words as verbs, adjectives, or nouns. In our case, we are going to use it as an adjective to describe who God is. The first S is God is self-sustaining, able to maintain himself by his own strength and effort without outside assistance. He is self-existing. God does not need anything or anyone to sustain himself. He is the living God. John chapter 5 verse 26 For just as the Father has life in himself, even so he gave the Son also to have life in himself. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 10 For the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and everlasting King. At his wrath the ark quakes, and the nations cannot endure his indignation. Isaiah 57 verse 15 For thou says the high and exalted one, who lives forever, whose name is holy, I dwell on a high and a holy place, and also with the contract and lowly of spirit, in order to revive the spirit of the lowly, and to revive the heart of the contract. Matthew chapter 16 verse 16 Simon Peter answered You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. The second S is God is self-sufficient meaning to meet his own needs wants and desires without outside assistance. He is more than enough and above enough. God is not limited or lacking in resources. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 5 Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything as coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God. Psalm 50 verse 12 If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine and all it contains. Thirdly, God is self-satisfied, meaning he is able to be pleased with himself able to be delighted in himself, able to be content with himself. God's happiness, joy and fulfillment do not depend on people, life's conditions or circumstances. Romans chapter 15 verse 13 Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The last S is God is self-significant, meaning God's value and importance are not based on outside factors, validation, affirmation, or confirmation. The value of God is not determined by our value we place on Him. Exodus chapter 3 verse 14, God said to Moses, I am who I am, and He said, Thou you shall say to the sons of Israel, I am has sent me to you. John 8 verse 58, Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was born, I am. 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 6, Yet for us there is but one God, the Father, from whom all things and we exist for him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom all things and we exist through him. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 to 34 Thou says the Lord Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom Let not the mighty man glory in his might Nor let the rich man glory in his riches But let him who glories glory in this 
that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord, exercising love and kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these I delight, says the Lord. Sustenance, sufficiency, satisfaction, and significance all come from God as the source. We are in need of them and cannot live without them. We need God's assistance always to be sustained, to be sufficient, to be satisfied, and to be significant. Without God, we seek things and people to meet these needs. These S's are what makes the human life livable. God is independent and has no unmet need. Psalm 102 verses 25 to 27 Of old you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Even they will perish, but you endure, and all of them will wear out like a garment. Like clothing, you will change them, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not come to an end. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8 I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. Amen.